Welcome back to Factorio MSX Gigabase, uh, where we are embarking on a marathon tech-priced SpaceX Extreme. Um, as far as SpaceX components go, we have done the satellite network, 175 satellites launched in one episode quite a while ago, and just last episode we launched the 50 dry dock assembly components. Um, so the next uh, item on the docket is the dry dock structure component, zero of 250 at this moment. Um, we are currently doing faster than light theory A. If we look at our tech tree, we have actually left spaceship command sort of 20% done, um, and we should return to that very soon. If we check our um, outstanding resources, you will see that Plastic is still kind of an issue, but rapidly getting better. Well, not that rapidly, but yeah, getting slightly better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, do I wait for it to get a whole lot better than that? Probably not. Um, so, anyway, what are we going to do? Well... Um, we're here at the moment. I have sent the engineering train over up here because this used to be a couple of oil stops amongst other things including copper. Um, we've, we've completely eliminated the copper, well except for that tiny little thing there. Um, so the space is available for building something new and um, I think this is where we will put the dry dock structure component build. It's a very simple build, we should be able to finish it this episode no trouble whatsoever. Um, I will then look to probably rip out um, this build here that was for the dry dock assembly component because all of these static machines, especially the inserters, cost us um, a degree of resource, um, UPS resource that is. Um, there is a bit of recycling to be done because we have too many uh, iron plates here for some reason. So, or, and red circuits and steel. Um, I'm not quite sure why this thing keeps blowing up and getting even worse, but um, we now seem to have about eight plastic um, waiting so maybe we'll stick on faster than light just a bit longer the reason we're on faster than light is if you know your way around SpaceX at all it is just a single um, science pack though with us doing extreme mode and doing uh, marathon tech prices we need 16 million of them this is the dent that um, just the basically the build um, the final build and launch of the dry dock assembly components made. So even though it's 16 million, we are progressing at a pretty good clip. Um, if we check our production just briefly, you will see that uh, we're basically at 12,000 um, science packs a minute. Over a minute, it's a sort of most of the time, it's achieving that 12... Um, well, the average over 10 minutes is that uh, 12,000 a minute. Over an hour, um, we're still doing the 12,000 a minute, so uh, it's pretty easy to maintain that on Red Science, um, given the simplicity of the Red Science pack, and that's supposed to help all of this uh, sort itself out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I can see an expansion in our capacity to build plastic is likely to be in our future as well. So, let's jump on board this guy that we use to transport the dry dock assembly components here. And we will head to uh, cash, hashtag copper7 until circuit condition because um, that will bring us up to where our engineering train is, just here. We'll actually probably take manual control and stop it somewhere here because I'll build what we need just sort of on one one of this one or other of these sides maybe up here although if we go this way we've got more room we used to have oil on these I've taken it off um, because these are pretty small 
we don't really need it. Um, where are we now? We're well on our way there, just coming up the side here. Um, oh, we're, I see. So we're going up this way, we're going to go round and down this way. Which seems to be an interesting choice, but it's the choice we made nonetheless. So what else is new? Well, um, there's a new version of SpaceX out. Version 3.0.3.5. Um, we're actually running on a 0 0.3.6. Um, so there will actually be another release fairly soon, because I've noticed something that I don't particularly like. It's not that impactful, but um, it needs to be sorted, so there will actually be a 0 0.3.6. So that's what I'm running on an alpha version of that. Uh, hopefully within an episode or two we'll be back to, everyone will be on that version. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. There's some new functionality we'll get to actually see and experience some of that uh, fairly soon. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Anyway, um, we are almost at our copper seven at this point. Let's return to um, non-map mode. And as we go around here, we can switch over to manual. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter where we stop. Just stopping there is probably fine. Now, what I want to do is basically get a 383 length, which we should have plenty of. There it is, and so basically we need this much length for the train. We may as well have it somewhere close to these guys so that um, we can, for our build out, we can grab stuff from there where there's a supply terminal if we need to. Um, but I'm thinking something like this. Uh, let's get back to our junction. I hope I have left enough room. Let's quickly designal just here. Now, if there's not enough room, we all just move our station up. But it does appear that those worries are unfounded. Um, so this one can be a station for the delivery of the ingredients. And in this case, the ingredients are simply 3,200 low density structures. It's not particularly onerous. I mean, it's a lot of material, but um, uh, it's only one thing. Dry dock structure component, um, LDS. Unload. Oops, let's do that with a square bracket. And um, we need a few of these things. One, two, three. Um, I don't think we need a huge number of them. How many do I actually have in the build area? Uh, one. One per carriage. One or two per carriage is probably sufficient. Maybe we'll go with two. these guys just because as much as anything they will help me space the whole thing and a quick blueprint uh, do I need that stuff I can always get it again if I do I don't think I'm gonna need that just now let 
let's see if this works. Two, four, six, eight. And we need um, we need a path for our our train. doesn't matter that this is a mess as long as as long as we um, signal this off so that um, it won't affect when a trains sitting up here it won't affect trains coming in and out of here and we need to likewise do the bottom bit and that's probably all we really need we don't need to worry about all of this because um, we're not trying to queue up a whole lot of trains here. Uh, we are going to need some power though. There we go. Now. Oh, they're outside the range of a robo port. That's fine. Now this is actually going to probably be the most simple build I have just about ever done. Um, you're going to have to move so that I can fit a train station in here. Uh, yep, that's pretty much exactly where I want it. Um, so we're going to need to Actually, that's kind of in the way. Maybe we'll just get a substation there and there. Uh, you can go there. Um, now. can go like that with requester chests. Uh, that's not quite right. There we go. So our one to one should fit in there rather nicely. Now, um, what we need is an assembly machine, which surprisingly enough, I do not have any on me. Well, let's take a look at how this is going. Plastic is still somewhat kaput. Hmm. Let's just do a momentary investigation of that. There are indeed no plastic trains here. Um, what's that say? Northeast plastic load. All of these are correctly defined. Um, and way down here. Uh, those are fuel trains and plastic. We have nothing. And they're all correctly defined. So it just must be our shortage is really quite uh, considerable. Um, now, do you guys have what we need? No, you do not. I'm just going to have a check up in here where we created the dry dock assembly just to see if that has what we do need. It does. Um, so it's a little bit hard to get the supply train to come here, but we could do a quick runner there to um, 
utilize some of our resources. Before we do, let us um, name this uh, DSC load. Sorry, Faxel, but you are now DSC space load. This little guy is going to go rocket cargo plus uh, DSC load until inventory full. This one, uh, that's the one we want to go to. This one can just be removed. And um, we will do a quick runner in the engineering train because, you know, why not? Um, do I have other things I need? I do, I do, I do. So it's only the assembly machines. Uh, let's just pick up, say, not 50. I don't really want that many. Maybe 10. Um, and that's really all I need. Good, I was on board already. Uh, hashtag dry dock assembly. Off we go. While this is happening, we can keep a bit of a lookout. Um, I just want to check if we can build these. We can. Um, we can keep a bit of a lookout for where the plastic is recovering, getting worse. Looks like possibly we need to put on another crude oil train. Um, let's just check that. I mean, it, 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 it's intended that uh, requests can get in there. It looks like one of the oil has just gone. Um, that is... It's worth looking into that all of these trains are set up properly, perhaps. This flashing light is just a, um, uh, they're missing a storage chest. If you look down here, you'll find that there is a bot carrying like an extra one or so of the uh, rocket fuel. And it's got nowhere to put it, so it just needs a, an extra chest to drop it down. And that's the case with all of them. Um, they're all fine. So, yeah, it kind of does look like maybe an extra... An extra fuel train is useful. Um, plastic certainly is getting no less. Where are we? We are in a traffic queue along here. It looks like iron's well on top of things. Steel is fairly busy. Plastic? Oh, plastic is able to do a lot more than this, but only if the light oil is also being consumed and we're not consuming the light oil so um, that's why plastic is under stress and the way we're going to increase plastic is not actually create more plastic generation but just create more light to petroleum um, conversion because that's all we're going to need to do um, but we're not doing that just yet uh, here we are we are in the back straight We may not even need to get out of the engineering train. We can simply slip in here. Wait for the bots to come and deliver us our 10 assembly machines. And head back to hashtag copper7. Guys, we're, we're very, very close now to wrapping up this, um, this build, believe it or not. It's incredibly simple. Assembly machines were the only thing that we really needed. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, plastic is still struggling. Probably trying to build up a a small buffer in the red circuit uh, production. 
and probably the LDS as well. We can have a look at the LDS, maybe. See how that's going. Well, it looks like it's pretty fine. Um, how are you doing for plastic? 5.3, so you should have ordered some plastic. You're probably one of the requirements, actually. Is there an LDS here? Yes, there is. LDS 3 drop, that's because of that one. About up here, um, it's also only 5.9, but it has a train on the way. I'm guessing it's a plastic train. There you go. Um, and the top one has tons of plastic, so it's not part of it. Uh, 37,000 low density structures down here, 35,000 down here. Uh, 28,000. It only takes about 3,200 on a train, which is exactly how many we actually need for building each one of these components. So one train, one component basically. So I'll need 250 of them. Let's jump out here. Uh, whoops, that's the one I needed. Um, so, we need, um, we need an assembly machine, we need, oh, I got rid of all of those guys, let's hope I actually have some still on board, because I didn't even think of that, but we need robo ports, there's some, that's plenty. Um, I have some logistic bots, that should be fine. So, uh, one, two, one, two. Does that go far enough? Yes, I think it does. Now, you are going to build these, so we need 3200 and it takes uh, 50 seconds to build. One of these will provide 3200. Um, we need a uh, supply, the blue, and we need requesters. Um, with stack inserters. Uh, you need to be ordering in LDS. Actually, let's do this. See what number it comes up. No, we're not doing that. Um, 100. So these things can swing about two and a half times a second. A stack is 10, actually it's about two and a quarter times a second. So we're getting about 45 a second between the two. Over a minute, uh, 60 by 45, that's about 2,700. Um, we are able to build about 4,200 per minute to support our uh, six launches per minute that we support so we can go a bit faster than 2700 um, we could have three that would take it up to about 4000 I think that is probably a good number and I actually do need to make these guys go a bit wider Um, so if these are working constantly, the uh, these will be able to build at, well I can only build one of 50 seconds, um, we're supplying at uh, 4,050 a minute. Um, so if we divide 4050 by 60, multiply by 50, we're getting just slightly more than um, the consumption. 
of one of these unsped up so we don't even need to speed it up we don't need modules you can't put uh, productivity modules in it anyway um, but we don't need speed modules there's no point because we won't be able to supply it fast enough um, we do need to stipulate these these are the dry dock structural component let's say five it won't ever get five as soon as it gets one it will load it and then it will load the other one and so on and so forth back and forth um, the final thing to do is to make this over here a um, a what are they called these guys a publisher publisher request for LDS um, there you go it's dropping again one two three four five six I keep hoping I'm gonna see a completely empty list one of these days but never mind we don't need to um, so let us put in a couple of arithmetic combinators as per always and um, start linking this up doesn't really matter which color wire we use can you reach over here no can you reach here yes go there to there to there to there to there to the back of here to the station itself the station needs to be retrained contents as always um, this one needs to be when low density structures um, divided by uh, minus 3200 is it minus is that what we do forgetting and we will um, make it P's uh, and this one is when trains on the way no, no, no that's not right this one is um, P plus uh, two. Do I want two of these at once? Probably. Um, no, I'm messing this up. I don't put P there. I put a low density structure there. So that one should be low density structures plus two output P. And when you get 3200 or more you'll get a minus one to the P um, I don't think two will actually allow us um, enough unload so we better make that just one one for now um, and we need a train counter and a publisher we have a publisher already there's a train counter there is a publisher um, while the rest of this up the laws here are basically when trains on the way is less than P which it is of course because P is 1 we want uh, low density structures and we have one on its way now um, how's this one two three four it's not recovering but how can PV2 DSCU weird Trains on the way is less than P. And we somehow ended up with two. Very strange. Oh well, never mind. Um, so, 
Um, that is our, the entirety of our build. We don't need to nurse made it anymore. Um, I think the last thing we should do is actually change our tech back to this one because we should be able to finish this one off while we do um, while we do this build because it's simple enough we should be able to handle launches and so on now this will actually gobble up all of the uh, low density structures we can build per minute or close to so when we're actually launching it's going to probably suppress how efficient this is but it really doesn't matter um, we just want to get them done how are we going here? It looks like we're about to get our first one. We've got 28 logistic bots. Let's just see if that's enough. How this goes. Uh. Ah, here we go. Our first one just now. And we will unload. Bots spring into life. This thing is starting to pick up pace. As you can see, there's a limited speed at which they can fill it up. It should be... Well, they do a stack each swing, but of course we're running at only 60%, so if you count seconds while it's doing it, we're not getting the full benefit of that, but um, certainly they are getting on with it pretty well. Um, there should be a, another low density structure train on the way. Where are they all? Here. Wake up. So the, the, the subscriber is there, so it should pick them up. So I think, you know, um, the reason I have, I'm not releasing this just at the moment is it's still kind of what I'd call an early alpha of this, um, this train manager mod. Um, when I've finished this playthrough, I'll revise it and get it into a form where it's a little bit more robust and reliable and at that point it can probably be a uh, publicly released mod as an alternate I guess to um, oh I've used up all of these so we do actually need trains to come at a rate greater than they are this is building at the moment over its 50 seconds but these should be topping up at the same time so yes, I'll see if I can bump the numbers up here. Not that one, not that one. This one, we should go for two. So that it's more likely that we have two trains in here. Yeah, for some reason it hasn't kicked the next one off. Alright. Or has it? No. How many trains do we have on the way? Two. Good. Where are they? Um, yeah, there's a fair, fair delay here. Maybe we should even make it three. sure that there are enough trains here to handle three. Sometimes I just need a bit of a nudge in the right direction. So where is this? Oh, there you go. There's our first, our first dry dock assembly component. And these guys should start rolling, rolling off. Um, hopefully without causing any traffic jams. Is this another one? Yep. So 
So we still have three on the way, that's good. That one unloaded in time for the next one to pull up. And there's none outstanding here. In fact, the peas have dropped as well, that's great. Um, where is the third one? One going up, there's one going... Oh, that one is not on its way here. Er, this guy here has got a problem. Uh, that's better. Probably from, from us forcing it to come. So, now it's just two, but we have a minus one due to the amount of... Uh, low density structures that are sitting here already, so it's just ordering two, that's fine. That all works for me. Um, this one is now building its second one. And uh, I'm going to leave you here, guys. That's how we are going to build the dry dock assembly components. Oh, actually, let's quickly check on uh, science. It is. It looks like it is slowly. Oh, it's jumping around. Let's try one minute. Um, one minute, we're basically at 6,000 a minute and 12,000 for red and green um, as required. So that is good. Um, 480,000 iron plates, 265,000 green circuits a minute. That should be able to be managed pretty easily. Uh, what's all time? 3 billion iron plate, 1.9 billion copper plate, 1.6 billion electronic circuit, and some other fairly impressive numbers down here as well. Alright guys, that will do us for this one. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye for now.